Diddy is once again at the center of a scandal, and this time popular social media star and comedian Jay Versace has more to say about that. He recently shook the internet when he accused Diddy of bending him over his bed. Diddy's bed. What is Jay telling us? And should we even believe him? Keep watching to find out. Welcome to Gay Bible. Make sure to follow us on Instagram so you never miss an update. Let's dive in. On TikTok, some women posted a throwback video of themselves playing around on Diddy's giant bed when Jay Versace dropped the bombshell. He accused Diddy of bending him over that same bed during a party at Diddy's mansion in Los Angeles. That is some serious accusation. Jay Versace is a 25-year-old American social media star who became famous about five years ago as the funniest teenager on the internet because of how well he entertains his audience on TikTok. However, it was not strange for Jay to be involved with men as he has publicly announced his homosexuality in 2016. In his words, I was in the shower actually and I thought, you know what, after I finish this shower, I'm going to come out. It was quite random. I text my mom a long paragraph and that was it. Ever since then, I was free. Could this be why Diddy targeted him? Because he was an easy target as he was already gay? Surprisingly, Jay didn't have a gay model as a child and had in fact been raised in a Christian family as his family owned a church. But he seemed to have figured his life out and didn't give a care to what the public or his family thought about him. In an interview with Gay Times, he said, I've been looking up to myself lately. I want to be free of sexuality and not boxed in as a guy who's gay. I don't want to be known as the gay guy, but also I want to be an ambassador for gay people. I never want to be labeled as the gay actor. I just want to be me. And when he was asked if his upbringing had anything to do with his decision, he said, being that I live in a black Christian family, I knew it was going to be hard. I don't necessarily blame my family for not understanding it. It's how they grew up and they're just acting as a product of how they were brought up. Interestingly, Jay had never mentioned what happened with Diddy until he saw the throwback video posted by the women. Was he triggered by the video? Or has he just had enough? Anyway, besides Jay, there's a long list of celebrities who had a crazy encounter with Diddy, and one of them is Exhibit, who revealed that some time back, Diddy had invited him and Kareem Superhead Steffens to a New Year party in Miami, and he saw what he never imagined he'd see. In an interview with Sirius Satellite's Foxhole Radio, he said that Diddy had called him out of the party to talk and warned him about Superhead, the girl he, Exhibit, was with. He called her a devil and said that she would likely expose his kinky secrets. He, Puffy calls me outside, he's like, hey man, you know, the, um, that, that girl you, you know about the girl you, I was like, yeah, nigga, I don't care right now, but you know what I'm saying, what's happening? You know, so he's like, uh, you know, that's the devil. Exhibit still didn't understand what Diddy was talking about, so he confronted Superhead about it. But she laughed and said that she'd explain what happened later. What exactly did Superhead see that made Diddy so cautious? Soon after, Diddy invited Exhibit, Superhead, and other members of his crew to a club. When they got to the club, they entered through the back door and got to the VIP lounge, which was empty. Diddy left them to do his business, and that's when the real event started. He and Superhead sighted two men kissing passionately and another one dancing butt naked. There's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, another direction, it's another dude over there like butt ass naked dancing. Five, Perplexed, he left without saying a word to Diddy or even bidding him goodbye. In his words, we take off, we leave the club directly. I didn't say peace to nobody. It was suspect. You can chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever, but I've been in a gang of clubs and I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club with that kind of activity. Hmm, why does Diddy attend such parties? And from X's story, it seems the party isn't a regular party we all know of. Speaking of parties, Usher also shared the experience he had while he was a teenager. At 13, he was handed over to Diddy who was supposed to be teaching him all he needed to survive in the rap industry. But Diddy didn't only teach him stuff he needed to know, he also taught and exposed him to stuff he wasn't supposed to know at his age. So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13, what were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Even Diddy revealed that he and Usher used to sleep together when he was a teen, but Usher used to wake up earlier. Even though he referred to Usher as his brother, fans think it was just a cover up. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how. 
I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early with me. And now he's one of the richest stars yeah. in the world. And I'm yeah. But Usher is only one of the male celebrities that have caught Diddy's fancy. He has also tried to put his charm on 50 cents, but failed. In an interview, 50 Cent revealed that Diddy had once asked him to take him shopping. According to him, that offer seemed awkward coming from a guy, and he ended up referring to Diddy as a fruit pop. So, yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. Nigga, we gotta, we gotta kick it. This is pop. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he's like, right. yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the this nigga just saying? <laughs> <laughs> But when Diddy was asked about it, he had confirmed that he offered to take 50 shopping, but he had only done it because he thought he needed some clothes. I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, oh that's man. a nice gesture. Let's Let me go. get out of, no, the, dude, take me, that's still what a guy oh, says to a nice girl. <laughs> what you been getting out for a decade? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. What the fuck? Yo, why, I mean, why are you in fifth? Just, hey, yo. Diddy's got to be kidding. That's such a lame excuse. But there's still more juice. Gene Deal, Diddy's ex-bodyguard, also has a few things to say. He claimed that Diddy had once made him stand guard while he had intimate relations with another man and insisted that he was not spreading rumors but telling the truth about what he saw with his own eyes. Ja Rule. I said, well, he busy right now. She said, oh, he busy doing what? I said, he would puff there in the room. They busy. They don't want to be bothered. He said, well, I'm going in there. I said, bro, you ain't going in there because he told me they don't want nobody to be bothering them. He was like, yo, I don't care, man. I'm going in there. That, that bull like that. I said, yo, bro, Jesus Christ had to come down here and take the air out of my body before you get in that room right there. Watch, watch. He tried to bum rush me. I grabbed his and threw him against the piano. When I threw him into the piano, Puff and Ja Rule runs out the room. Puff got his towel, Ja grabbing his towel, but they butt the naked. And so then uh, Ja was like, yo, what's going on? Yo, Gene, that's my cousin. He know me well. You know, uh, and Puff was like, yo, Gene, what happened? I said, he tried to get in the room. I told him he couldn't get in the room. And he was like, he just looked, Puff looked at Ja. He said, yo, Ja said, you ain't want to go in that room because there's a lot of freaking shit going on. <laughs> so I was like, oh, he said there was a lot of freaking shit going on. Isn't it amazing how so much is being said about a person on the same topic? Well, we're not done. In 2020, Jaguar Wright claimed Diddy forced Christopher Williams to perform oral on him. According to her, she got in contact with Diddy's former lawyer, who told her all she needed to know about the issue. The lawyer said that Diddy and Christopher were about to sign a demo deal when she needed to get Diddy's approval for some paperwork. On getting to Diddy's office, she found the door unlocked and just went in without knocking. But when she got in, she saw a shocking sight. Christopher Williams was performing a on Diddy. Surprisingly, of all allegations against him, Diddy chose to respond to this one. He said, I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do in my building. It's power. See, if I could make a man suck my d I could make people do anything for money. Can you imagine that? He is not even denying it. Doesn't this mean that Jay and other celebs are super right about Diddy? 